So we have this sequence here, 1, 8, 27, and 64, and we're trying to figure out what number is going to come next in this sequence here. So probably the first thing I would do is try to look at the differences between each number. So we have a difference of 8 minus 1 is 7, 27 minus 8, that's 19, and 64 minus 27, that is 37. And I really don't see any pattern here. I could look at the differences between these maybe, but I don't feel like this is going well for me. So I'm going to try something else. So figuring out what comes next, what number is going to go here in our sequence, a lot of it is you're trying to find a pattern. What is some commonality that the numbers have so you can predict what number comes next when you have 1, 8, 27, 64. I know I could say 1 squared. 1 squared is 1. That would work. 2 squared, 2 squared would be 2 times 2 is 4. So already that doesn't work. But what about 1 cubed? That's still 1. 1 times 1 times 1. That's cool. How about 2 to the third power, 2 cubed? 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So that works. Let's test this one out. 3 to the third power. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3, 27. If we cube 4, 4 times 4 is 16. And then 16 times 4 is 64. So that works. That means over here, 5 cubed. 5 times 5, that's 25 times 5. That would equal 125. So the next number here should be 125, according to this sequence. And this really looks like it makes sense. 6 cubed, 7 cubed, you can figure all the numbers out as far as you need to go. That's the way I figured this one out. I hope that helps. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.